All right, guys, welcome back. So in the previous video, we created uh, this, this top section, which is the popular collections, and we added some shadows and interactions and made it look cool. So in this one, we're gonna go ahead and create the top downloads section, which should be fairly simple. We're using the same fundamentals and basics, so hopefully it refreshes your knowledge. So here's what we're gonna do. Here I'm in Webflow, and what we'll do is I'm gonna select the content section one. I'm gonna make a copy by pressing Control C and Control V. All right, so that means we have this one over here, all right? So for this section, I'm gonna just select this. I'm gonna come over here and then choose duplicate class and I'm gonna call this content section two. Now the reason it says this class name already exists is because um, I kind of made another content section two class by mistake. So I would, I'm just gonna go ahead and then, you know, just delete uh, this and then just call this uh, content section two, all right? There we go. And I added a 70 pixel padding to that. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna select this, the content section one, and set that to 70 pixels here as well. So now we have 70 pixels over here, and here we have 70 pixels here as well. All right, so the next one is this content one wrapper. I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'm gonna call this content two wrapper, all right? So we've got content um, two wrapper, perfect. Now here in content two wrapper, We've got a uh, another text, and then this is going to be downloads. It's going to be top downloads actually. So and yes, this is going to be. I forgot to change it. It's going to be popular collection. So popular uh, collections. Here in this content one grid, we want to duplicate that as well. Duplicate, and we're going to call this um, content two grid. All right. And here, since we have uh, three by three. So we're gonna go and select, click on this icon to get the grid. Uh, we're gonna go and add in another row. So we've got three rows and three columns. And the, sp the row spacing is gonna be zero because if you take a look over here, this whole thing is one and another whole thing is one. So we just wanna make sure that it's zero and the distance between this and this is 50 pixels. So um, the column row is gap is gonna be 50 and uh, that should pretty much do the trick. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all the ones that we don't need, which is basically all this, all right? And we're gonna start from scratch. So hopefully everything else remains same over here. Pretty good. So let's go ahead and start off. The way I'm gonna build it is, you know, such a way that we have one main div block. Inside that we have two div blocks. Um, this image one is gonna be one div block and this whole section is gonna be another div block. And inside this div block, I'm gonna split it into two this content is gonna be one div block and this is gonna be another div block. All right, so let's do that. So let's start by creating our main div block. So just drop that in and we're gonna call this content to main block, all right? Content to main wrapper, all right? Anything, anything that works. Great, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in my image, which is this thumbnail. So just drop that in. Okay, I'm gonna make it HIDPI, so the width is 60 pixels. You can see the same thing over here. The width and height is 60 pixels. Perfect. And now, we're gonna add in um, another div block. So I'm gonna press Command E, get in a div block, and uh, make sure that this div block is inside this. So if I come over here, you can see that we have content, we have image, and then we have another div block. So this div block, I'm gonna call this um, content to text wrapper, because this has all the text. So let's go ahead and add in um, three texts. So I'm gonna probably go for an H6, or let's see if we can add in something else. So let's actually go here in the typography section. Um, oh yeah, and I totally forgot. Uh, we need this to be a link block, all right? Because we want this to be downloadable. So I'm gonna select the, you know, the main content wrapper, Right click and choose convert to link block. All right, so now it's clickable, great. So let's see what kind of uh, text uh, you know element we wanna add. So we've got heading, paragraph, text link, text block, block quote, and rich text. So I think for this case, since these don't affect the SEO too much, I'm just gonna go and add in a text block, all right? It makes life a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go ahead and then just paste it and let's copy some settings. So uh, I'm gonna copy this color code. We've got Roboto, Medium, and 16, all right? So let's go, uh, make sure we have the main content wrapper. And in the typography, we wanna set the decoration of this to none. So we get rid of that underline. 
and uh, let's add in that color. We want to set that to, oh, we want to set the font of this to first to be Roboto. Uh, we want to set it to be medium and a size of 16. That's perfect. And maybe we can change this to inline block. So, you know, it kind of fits only this. All right, and let's duplicate. Uh, so we can call this text block. All right, and we can make a copy by pressing Control C, Control V. And this we can, you know, duplicate class and say text block two, all right? So this is gonna be mockups. So copy that and then just paste that over here. Uh, we gotta change the color and the size is 12. So um, yeah, so select this, change the color, right? The size is gonna be 12, okay? And uh, let's make another copy and this is gonna be the same, but this is gonna be 6.1 GB, all right? So 6.1 GB, there we go. Now, in the content to text wrapper, as you can see, we have three text elements. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to flex and I'm gonna set it to vertical so it stacks one below the other. Now we want this to be stacked one below the other as well. So, uh, sorry, one beside each other. So we're gonna select the content to main wrapper, which has um, these two elements, which is the image and this whole text element. I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna choose um, a flex all right, and now this is what we have. Now I wanna push it to the either end. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here, which is gonna justify it and push everything towards, you know, the complete end, all right? That's what we want, great. So the next thing is to add in this icon as well. So how do we do that? I'm actually gonna create another div block, okay? And in this div block, um, I'm gonna put in the content wrapper, all right? Oh, sorry, um, we want the content wrapper to be here. All right, and div block inside, and then we want the content wrapper over here. So basically, let me just quickly explain what we did. So we've got the entire grid, all right, which is perfect. And inside that we have this main wrapper, which contains of the image on the left side and the div block on the right side, all right? And inside this div block, we've got another div block, which has the content, but I'm also gonna add in this download, uh, you know, PNG icon, all right? I'm just gonna drag it and drop it right over here. Now set this to HIDPI and close it up. Now things look a little crazy. So I'm gonna select this div block, all right? And I'm gonna call this content to block wrapper. I'm just giving it a random name. It doesn't matter at the moment. I'm gonna go and set this to flex so that it pushes it to the side and align in the center. There we go. Now, since I want this entire content wrapper to you know, take up all the space it has, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the width over here for this content wrapper, and I'm gonna set that to 100%. So what that means, it's, it's gonna go ahead and push out everything and take up as much space as it can. And also, since this is towards the left side, I'm gonna set this to a uh, space between, so it pushes the content to either side, all right? That's it. So we're pretty much done, but the problem here is that if I come back to Figma, uh, you can see here we have some spacing. So I'm gonna manually add in that spacing of 20 pixels. So I'm gonna select this image and in the right, I'm gonna say 20. So now it looks pretty good, all right? If I go to the previous section, it looks pretty cool, all right? It's even clickable. Now another thing is there's this slight, uh, you know, line that we see. So I'm just gonna copy that line, all right? And copy that color code and here, I'm gonna come select this content block wrapper, all right? And down here in the border section, I'm gonna choose this bottom border and I'm gonna give it a width of one pixel. And if you see, if I just come out, you can see that black color line. I'm just gonna go change that color to this dark color and you should be able to see it well right now. Um, if I come over here, yeah, you can probably see that line. But it's pretty close. Uh, you know, to the text. So let's add in some spacing. So 14 pixels on the top and probably 20 pixels on the bottom is fine. So we can s give it a round number of 20. So I'm gonna select this content block wrapper and I'm gonna give it an inner padding of 20 pixels and a bottom padding of 20 pixels. And now it's gonna make this look a bit weird. So I'm gonna select this content wrapper and I'm gonna go ahead and set the alignment to center so it doesn't stretch. Now, when I click, when it was 
default on stretch, which means that it was taking up the entire space, but I'm gonna set this to center so it fits well like so. All right, so if I just click away, you can see it looks pretty damn good. Now, the only thing we've got to do is we're gonna select this and then just start pasting it. So control C and control V, 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 control V, control V, and control V. So if you take a look, this is what we have, and that looks pretty cool and pretty awesome. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and change all the text. It's unnecessary work. So, you know, you guys can go ahead and change it, but hopefully you guys uh, get the idea of how to build this, all right? So. There we go, it's looking pretty good. So in the next one, we're gonna create up the footer and finish up the entire landing page. And after that, we can animate the navigation bar and work on making the website responsive. So I'll see you guys in the next video.